everyone. You ready? You game? I'm game. And the rookie Chet Holmgren at center court. High toss. They both missed time to jump. And Dort, who is always around yeah. those jump balls. Yeah, Thunder beat the Milwaukee Bucks on Friday night. Also beat Sacramento and San Antonio in this building. Shea's first shot on the step back right at the elbow. My goodness. That's an illustrious crowd there, folks. He's in. Elite company. There is an elite pass up top. Jada, who's had that great connection with Holmgren over the course of the season. That's what have them rated as one of the top five defensive teams in the league. Oh, Shea, nice spin. Just went right around Hardy. Takes a little clip, scores the bucket plus the foul. And he has really been impressive on both ends. Jada was asked what's the difference between last year and this year. Former Maverick player, Holmgren. Got it right back from Dort. Locates the rim and scores. And there is that this outstanding touch on the offensive end from Chet Holmgren. It, it always does feel like an accomplishment, though, Michael, when you get to game number 82. And I think it's something that's underrated. And Prosper this time is going to elevate. And that time he was able to get to the rim. So they're going to have to run a set here. Dallas getting back. Giddy. Fires away from three and knocks it down. Went off a 29-minute game against Detroit. A game again that Dallas did not play its top players. Williams, tough shot, got it up over Josh Giddy. And it's J-Dub. Little jab step, no on the three. It's been an excellent three-point shoot over the course of the season. Over 42%. There's another hard drive. Let's maintain that confidence that we saw. Morris. Can't connect on his second three. Nice pass underneath. Sets it up beautifully for J-Dub with authority at the rim. Most double-digit comebacks in the NBA this year. As there's a Dallas turnover. J-Dub keeps it himself and then glides his way to the cup. There's a beautiful finger roll as he kept it himself. And now Dallas turns it over on the outlet pass. He defended out on the perimeter. Little mismatch. This is what he likes. He can shoot over the top, takes a little bump, little fade away. That's his game right there. He set it up. You can see it the entire time as soon as he got Hardy on him. And Shea checks the clock. Patiently waiting to make his move. Runs right by Williams. Dumps it off. Got the assist right there. Cason Wallace who snuck inside. We open up, open up quarter number two. There is Cason Wallace yet again. Sneaking on the backside. Ships it back up top. Wallace checks the shot clock. Drives. Lost it momentarily. Tough fadeaway shot. Had the hoist. There is Holmgren streaking in. Offensive rebound. Powers it up right on Powell. Plus the foul. Yeah, just over midseason. Oh, Shea got tripped up. Flips it up. That is back to the bucket. And still, he's going to have a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Wallace on Hardaway Jr., the veteran. Pull the trigger, no good. And Shea right up top, put it on a platter for Holmgren. And there's Isaiah Joe. As Prosper lost his balance. Right across the baseline, Casey Wallace battles it home again. It doesn't matter who SGA is on the floor with. When you think about that. Matchups and lineups, no matter who he's on the floor with, he's got a great rating. The ball swings from Jalen Williams, then hands it off to Wiggins. Wiggins, there's the three. That been decided. All those coming on the Eastern Conference. Giddy rifles that pass diagonally to the corner where Dork spots up, takes a little dribble to sidestep left, and rips the cords from three. Three minutes left to go in the second. Offensive rebound by Fudge, and Fudge able to put it down. You're talking about they got a chance to win 57 games this afternoon, folks, and finish the regular season. If that's not a statement for Coach of the Year, then that's not a beautiful move by Jay Will. A half that has been 
dominated, controlled. As Giddy, offensive rebound, the putback, and another and one opportunity. You see that graphic at the bottom there. The second most points in any half in OKC history, the 82. The kick out, Fudge, and that three rattles in. You saw so much of what they do on the offensive end, and they were dedicated on the defensive end. They're getting another and one here. This time it's going Terrific. Terrific in his second all-star season. It has been an all-star season, and then some. And Minnesota. Kenrich, no, and Muscala. Mike Muscala, who's They got through their 14 back-to-backs on the season. But it's looking like whatever chips are going to fall, it's going to involve a Thunder victory. To where they are today, folks. It just doesn't happen by accident. This is a whole organizational thing. That they have collectively built up the momentum to put themselves in a position where they are this afternoon. Make sure to stay tuned. All the Thunder social media channels we have the latest updates as going Hayward turns the corner there. Hardy started the game for Dallas. That time he got rejected. And a couple of emphatic rejections for the Thunder. Wiggins as the feet set. One of the more enjoyable teams to watch play in the association this year, especially with being as young as they are. There's a little burst from Williams. Thunder been in charge this entire game. Really been in charge this entire homestand. There's a nice step back. Been impressed so far with Williams. He's got 15 points. Seen a little bit of his offense show up this afternoon. Pulls up and Prosper kept Wiggins off the offensive glass. He will drive other way. Powell follows it up. No shot clock. See what Jang does here. Ball in his hands. Drives. Oh, bounces off a of Powell. That's a nice move. Usman Jang closing out the quarter. So we had about a five-minute break there, Michael. I know, I know you recharge. You're ready to go for these final 12 minutes. I thought it was another halftime. It's not. <laughs> well, about a third. Sign up. Get out there if you want to learn the game. And you're going to meet some young players like yourself that you'll probably run into throughout your high school or college career as Waters will now. Boy, we got we got great guys in the truck taking care of us, Mike. Well, not all of them, but some of them. That's why I got most of them cupcakes today. Jane will go inside for the slam. I, I thought that was really the key to the start of the season. You, you talk about two teams, you know, that, that would have strong playoff aspirations. We kind of had their way with you. But that was the only time. Because the Thunder yeah. won the next three games. Correct. In the guess, home opener. It yeah. was a game where the, the Denver Nuggets sort of powered through Oklahoma City. The home opener. Thrown around on both sides of the conference. And that's what's so exciting about NBA basketball, folks. You know, there's always something at stake. They won a lot of road games this year, folks. It's some tough places. And one of the better road teams in the NBA over the course of the season have been very good at home as well. No whistle. That's what you like. Wow. Mike took a shot to the solar plex. Man. And Waters just continues to rain threes. That's his third one in this quarter. Being a two-way player. Spent the time in the G League. Nice cut on the backside. Usman Jay really played through it. Looks like Prosper might have got a hand on that basketball in Jay, who played, scored, Michael, all 15 players. First time in OKC history. And the